In the previous video, we have seen some of the applications of machine learning. In this one, I will be covering what I will be discussing in this course. What is image classification? It's a case in which you will be given an image in which there is at most one object and you have to correctly identify what object it is. And what is localization? In this you not only identify what object it is, you also help to locate where exactly it is present within an image. The red box around this cat is called bounding box. The object can be present anywhere in the image, like here or here. The object can sometimes be small or big and you have to accordingly draw the bounding box. But if there are more than one object in an image and you have to locate and identify all of them, then this is a case of object detection. In this image, there are two cats, a duck and a dog. You have to locate and identify all of them. The last variation of this is called instance segmentation, wherein you not only locate and identify the object, but you also draw the exact border around it, like so. In this course, I'll be discussing localization and detection. These are the papers that I'll be discussing in this course. The first four are based on classical computer vision techniques like HOG, SIF, etc. These two papers, Selective Search and Edge Boxes, can be used as region proposal networks. I'll be explaining this concept later. The rest of the papers, starting from OFEET, are based on CNNs like AlexNet, VGGNet, etc. For example, OFEET combines AlexNet, adds a detection layer on top of it to arrive at their object detection network. These papers, starting from faster RCNN onwards, or the latest papers and probably used more in the production. Then you might wonder, why not just start from faster RCN onwards and understand things? But as you will see during the course, many of the concepts in these papers are all interrelated and one of the other ideas have been borrowed and improved upon in the subsequent papers. So I feel it helps to start from the very basic, understand how the network works and see how the authors of subsequent papers improved upon those ideas. Also, you will be exposed to different design paradigms and the speed and accuracy trade-offs of different designs. And bear in mind that I'll be mainly explaining the high-level concepts and uh, big ideas in all these papers so that you will get an intuition of how it works without going into the math or code part of it. Finally, at the end of this course, I hope it will be easy for you to go through the papers and get the additional details. Definitely, it's not a substitute for reading those papers, but I hope at least it will cut down the time taken for you to read them. And if you find any mistake in my explanation or if something is not clear, please let me know in the comments. Before we start, let me apprise you of some of the contents in the first four chapters. In the first chapter, I will be discussing some of the metrics that we can use to evaluate a machine learning or deep learning model. And these are precision, recall and F1 scores. But these scores cannot be directly used to evaluate a object detection model. For this, we need something called mean average precision. This and some of the competitions in this field like ImageNet, Coco, etc. will be discussed in the second chapter. In the third chapter, I will be discussing the classical computer vision techniques like HOG, DPM, etc. And from the fourth chapter onwards, I will be discussing the CNN based architectures. If you are not new to this field, I believe that you will be already aware of uh, any of these concepts? If so, feel free to skip them and directly start from the fourth chapter. 